Welcome back. This is The Edge. We are back in Imperium Galactic Survival. We've taken a break from this game. It's not because I don't like it. I love the game. Unfortunately, it's because we had problems building things. Now, they've changed it up quite a bit. They brought in blueprints, and that made it a lot easier for us. Now, uh, you can actually go to workshop and grab other people's blueprints and actually build ships with it so we can actually get up and running. Now, I, I'm going to give it another shot again. I, I'm always keeping my eye on this game, and I know... Many of you have always asked for, especially Ken, uh, for us to get this up and running again. And, you know, I was lucky enough to have this day one when it first released. And I do love the game. It's just that the developers are too damn quick of uh, updates. So we're going to try our best to move forward with this. This is uh, pre-alpha 5.3.1 on the top left. You can see right there. So we're going to start a brand new game. Like I always do, I always do a seed, uh, follow what the seeds are. We're going to do, uh, you know what, let's go with seven, 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 seven. One seven seven seven. Let's go. Actually, no. Let's just do seven seven seven. Maybe we'll be lucky with that. Can we do that? We can. So we're gonna do seven seven seven. I have no idea. It's just random seeds, anyways. Uh, so we're gonna actually change this up, and we'll bring it to season eight. And here we go. We'll always do a backup because we've had problems with that before. So we're gonna start this up. This will be on Akua. We have a choice between Omicron, but we're actually need to be more in choosing this plan to survival starts recommended experienced players only. I, I am experienced, but again, I like to start back at Akua uh, just to get ourselves back on ground and start building. I like to build build ships and start getting rolling. I mean, I don't want to waste any more time on that, so I, I can't wait to play this game again. All right, here we go. Your approach on the surface. Game Edge discovered new resources. All right, that's good. That's the actual fuel. We're nearby, which is good. All right, we've landed. All right, wow, I actually remember. That's good. So press T to get all this stuff out of this pod here. This is all these escape pod stuff we end up with, which is pretty good. Survival constructor, which is a great start. Uh, and all our main stuff. So we'll just take that all out right now. Uh, I do like to have my drill on top here. as just my thing and my gun. The three, actually, you know what? Let's put our guns up here uh, for now and our drill. And let's put our stuff here so I can actually see. I just want to get lost. I want to place our stuff here easily. We are going to put up our constructor, so we're going to put that out here. And here is also our oxygen uh, O2 generator, which is our water generator, which is really handy. We can actually take off our, our mask right here if you want to. Uh, which is it removable or placing back on you can actually do that I think with you if I'm mistaken I forget what it is I think it's you yeah helmet off there you go helmet off you see back on but if you press U it'll actually turn it off on a bomb I'm not sure why it's showing like that there we go if you come back it's good uh, we actually end up with a core which is good all the main stuff we need great uh, we're gonna have to find a place to build our, our base it's probably be around here we have what cobalt right here deposit right next to us It'd be great to have some iron deposit nearby. That's really what we want. Uh, it's much nicer to have iron. Let's give up a little run up on a hill here. Since we're not going to run. I don't want to put down just about our brutes down anywhere. Uh, and again, they brought these cricket animals back. They're not harmful unless you shoot them and piss them off. Which is just fine. There are going to be some creatures that show up, you know, in a bit. Which is going to be kind of off. They've actually, wow, they redesigned this completely, didn't they? Oops, I forgot about the stamina. Plasma. Yeah, we can pick up the plasma stuff. Look at that. Whoa, look at that. It's short of the plant. That's nice. Oh, aloe vera is on here now. Excellent. That's good. So I got upgrade points already. So we're, again, we have a tech tree with a hit, uh, which we're going to get used to. I'm just checking out all the new stuff. I'll tell you the truth, I did not play it much more than I could have. I could have done a lot more. Uh, testing. I did go in and out of it. We had a little problem before Prometheon again. Wow, we have a lot of it. Can we have some iron? Now we have a base over there. That's not a good place to start. If we had power, we'd probably go and take that base over. We do not have anything to do that with right now. We are going to investigate quite a bit. I just want to find... I'm hoping we can find some iron in here. Let's just take a little run around here. Now, it's time to go up and out. When you're just walking, did they fix that yet? I know they did a whole bunch of changes with the blueprints, which is really, really cool too. Let me just show you that. 
Uh, here we go. Was it a suicide? <laughs> That's pretty cool. Uh, was it again? Tech tree? I don't remember the key for it. Damn it. Uh, we're going to have to figure that out as we go around here. I know that there's a tech tree here that goes in, but they're also... Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, should be in here somewhere. Our map, which we have here. We can actually see the map of the planet. But I do remember there's a blueprint. Blueprint library. There we go. So we can actually see how we build certain things. So if I want to build a starter base, I need 510 this will actually give me a full starter base, which is pretty cool. Uh, if you want to build off that, same thing for this. This is what we really want to start off with is a CV starter, which is uh, just a spaceship. Uh, this is a ground vehicle, hover vehicle, and actually this is the one we want to start off with, a space vehicle here, which is going to get us back and forth. This one is massive. These are the big ones up top. We can actually go and pick some of them up as we go through. I'll go and look, and uh, if you have anything you want to submit, you know what, I'll be proud to put your stuff on here. And maybe build your your ships instead and uh, name them after you guys. So join in. I mean, uh, send us a link or mark it down on a blueprint for Edge, uh, Game Edge, and I'll check it out on your blueprints. So it'd be very cool. Yeah, it doesn't look like we're going to have some iron here. We're going to have to get our shit and gear it out. It's very nice now. It's all tranquil. Everybody's very nice. Oh, there's some food here. Could eat that. We don't need a spaceship anymore that we had back there. Our, our escape pod it doesn't make a difference, so we could actually just walk around. You can imagine copper. Where's the copper over there? Come on, just need keep those for food. Once we get hungry, oh, I have to watch out for the stamina. I always have to watch out for the stamina. I just want to put a roost down just about anywhere. Uh, it's nice to have the Prometheon right over there, which is not super far away. Again, okay, aloe is going to be great for... I don't know if it rots. I remember some of this stuff rots, so... Okay, so we got copper over there. We're going to have to swim across. Let's just take off and make sure we have nothing in our hands so we can actually swim. Yeah, I don't use any oxygen. Yeah, yeah, because you can put the mask on if you want to, uh, the helmet, sorry, and the helmet itself will help you from uh, drowning itself. I'll just show you right now. You do this, you can actually go underwater and without any problems. Let's show you here. Look at, you'll sink if you put something in your hands. The reason why I don't put anything in my hands is because you can actually float. Ooh, that didn't render out right. Okay. Again, this is pre-alpha, which is remarkable if you think about what they've built so far. Uh, they built the whole solar system, uh, which actually will need warp drives to get around. Uh, very, very cool. Very impressive game. Again, developers are just so fast. They are so fast. It's not a knock on them. It's just they are that quick at building uh, updates and constantly updating, which is great for you guys if you buy pre-alpha games or alpha games. Well worthwhile, every dollar, because you're going to constantly see updates and improvements to the game. Uh, there's a multiplayer aspect to it, which they are working on improving. Maybe we'll bring that to you in the future. I'm not too sure yet. We'll see how it goes. Uh, T is for pickup, okay. We're gonna pick up these things because right now what I do is I go in here and you can actually just eat these suckers up. Oh, let's take off our helmet here. Not wasting oxygen for no reason. Oh yeah, that's right, sorry, jeez. Just remembered, I started clicking off at it. Coming off of uh, Subnautica here, there we go. There we go. Got a little food. There we go. We're getting full. That's good. And we got our stamina back a whole lot faster than usual. So hopefully over this hill, silicon deposit. Okay, this is actually not a bad area. If we can find iron, we are hot to trot. I'm surprised how fast and how far he picked up that trail on that. You can see it from pretty far away. Jeez, that was not close. Whoa. Use a jetpack soon. Damn. Oh, well, you do have a jetpack too. I might as well show it to you. You press spacebar uh, by turning on by J. So if you're not used to it, you press J and you can turn it on. All right. We have quite a bit of stuff we're finding. Actually, it's not a bad little walkabout right now. Silicon deposit. Okay. Another one. Jesus. Okay. That's great. 
Can you give me an iron deposit and then we're ready to start building somewhere. It's also that we found a base on the other side, which is kind of good to know too, because we like to attack those. As you know me, I like to go and strip down as much of those things as possible and get most resources out of those things, which are awesome to do. Okay, a heartbeat right there is because I'm so used to other games, including the forest, where I can run nonstop for a long period of time. Let's see how long it takes before stamina pumps up. It used to take forever. That's actually pretty decent. I just wish you'd let us do it while we're walking. Uh, walking shouldn't you know, inhibit your stamina from going back up. Standing straight, just still not moving. Kind of, you know, kind of hope they change that part of it. Okay, that's good enough. There used to be a trick. You used to press the run button, let go, run button, let go, but I think they fixed that. My first release there was so easy to keep the stamina going. Come on, I like to put the roots down before it gets dark and start going at it. Just want to know if I have iron nearby. Iron is key to survival. I mean, cobalt's very important too, and so is silicon. Every one of these are very important, but iron is going to be the one we use the most. So we want to be as close as possible to where we can drill. Oh, shit, that's pretty far down. That's a very, very nice hill. All right. Okay, we're going to run this baby down. Come on, show me some iron. So far, the land is very beautiful. Those cricket sounds. I'm not sure. I'm not too sure about those cricket bugs, but you know what? It is pretty original, the size of those things. They are really cool. So, you know, it's it's impressive when you look at all the work these guys have put into the game. Some of these things are like placers, and then they change them up. At one point, they had a dinosaur they just had in here for me gun drone. Wait a second. Okay, we gotta be careful. Something showed up as a mini gun here. It's showing up now at that far away. We can see it. Wow, that's really good. We should not be able to see those things. These just show up. Now they're giving us on our HUD that we can actually see them. That's actually cool. You actually pick up these things too, which are, uh, I don't know. Can you, you can't pick them up anymore? There you go. Yeah, these are cavea beans, which are, I think are not like coffee. In our own way, I'm not mistaken. Aloe vera. I was pretty sure aloe vera wasn't on this planet, but that was changed. All right, for God's sake, just show me some iron. Oh, that looks like a great place to build right here. Oh, if I can only find some iron. I'd like to see it right now. Boop, iron. Okay, let's make sure we eat. Strangely enough, out of all things eating and a lot, we don't have any things for water. Water is just not in here as a something, which is kind of good too, because I mean, it gets a little tiresome getting water sometimes for some games. But these are very, very handy. These corn dogs, I love them. T, oops, I keep on pressing the wrong button. There we go. Let's just pick them up and make sure we have some food source while we're hunting for iron. I know it's not the most interesting way to start, but we need to find it. And I'm telling you right now, it's imperative. I'm starting to think that we might have to just let it be, but it, I don't want to give up right now. All right, so I have to cross some water and it's a quite long trek to find it where we found some iron deposit finally. So I didn't want to bore you guys, bore you guys from watching that. But I kind of like this location anyways. We're not that far away from the iron. It's 420 meters, which is not super far away. And we're doing okay on food. Let's just eat that up. I mean, it's corn dogs. I don't know if you can eat them in real life. Never, uh, never walk by a little stream or a little area. But hey, you eat a corn dog. I don't know. I have to look that up, actually. No, I have no clue whether you can or not. So 312 meters is perfect. It's not far away from us. So I kind of like this bay here. I like that location right here. Near, uh, near the mountains. It's kind of nice. If we want to, we can go inside the mountain afterwards and build out. I think I like the way it looks. All right, so let's build it here. So we're going to put our temporary builder right here. That's good. All right, let's use a constructor. 
Okay, so we're going to put all the main stuff that we need here in this machine. Uh, let's put all the stuff we got here. Is that it? I think we got more than that. Wow, it's not very much, eh? Is it? No, it's not bad. It's not bad. Okay, we got a lot of, quite a bit of stuff actually. If you think about it. It's all these corn dogs are throwing me away. It's not like we're going to run out of food here because it looks like we have tons of corn dogs to hit. We're also going to put the water generator out down there to just get it and just get it rolling, anyways, for now. Uh, and get out of our inventory would be pretty cool. This can go in there too. And that should be it for now. The rest of this stuff we're going to put afterwards into this thing here. Um, yeah, I think that's okay. Uh, we also need to put, actually this is solar power, that's awesome. Yeah, that's pretty good. All right, so we're gonna, we can do start off, let's get this rolling very simplistic and you know, the same way I like to do is always turn this baby on first of all and start getting the main stuff that we want to build. Now, what we want to do is actually build at the end of this, well, at the beginning of this. Oh yeah, it's constructed too. You actually can make your own food on it now. We used to not be able to do that, which is nice because you want to kill the animals or the, the things around you and get the meat. You can actually cook them up, which is really cool. So right here, you want to actually have a base starter kit, which uh, is needed. So I need one hull block and, eight, sorry, eight hull blocks and one core. So hull blocks are pretty simple to get. But we need to get some of these metal plates done. Let's do 10 of them. And then a hall blux will just get yourself going with these, which is you know, pretty simplistic. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Let's do a couple, because this is doubled up, right? So we'll give ourselves 20. Just for shits and giggles, so we can get that done. At least we get the star and get maybe a couple of extra in there. Uh, actually, it gives you a lot more than that. What is it? Each one of these gives you what again? got uh five and eight. Was, output count is 10 it shows right there output count is 10 it takes eight seconds and as you get the bigger constructors uh i'm not mistaken again it actually goes a little lot faster which makes it things a lot easier uh you can actually use this here for stamina which is really nice too it gives you 50 stamina back on your run i should have used it on our way there i didn't realize i had two of them here and you have some small o2 bottles here which is kind of nice we can actually build a few more of those actually Two, three, four, five. Let's go with 30 of these and one base starter kit. Okay, that's pretty good. Uh, let's check the tech tree here and see what we're doing. Ooh, don't do suicide. Hopefully they ask you whether you want to do it or not. Okay, so level five. So we're now available is 25 points, but it seems like everything else shows up at level five now. Let's see here. Nope, we can actually do it. other things here. These are available already. O2 station, we do not need to waste the points on that right now. We don't need it. Uh, fridge is actually a pretty cool point. We're going to need to unlock that anyways. It's three points only. That's going to be a mandatory. Uh, a cannon turret, really? This early? Well, let's unlock that, baby, because we're going to need that. It's actually a really good start there. And for the, we already did the base. We don't need vessels stuff right now. We will need it afterwards. We need a cargo box unlocked without a doubt. And we already have the O2 small cargo box. Look at that. Yeah, let's unlock this baby. There's large ones too. Amazing. Cool. All right, let's see what else here. Building blocks. So all our main building blocks here are all done. They're all unlocked. Everything's green on the first start, which is good. So the ones do the brand uh, tr new, new windows that came in on a lot, supposedly. Uh, we actually just have to kind of work through that. So these are all tools and stuff. Remove and repair tool. I love that thing. Uh, that we can undo too. And that work lights is handy sometimes too in the caves. Especially with you guys. Assault rifles. Oh, I need six. Okay, we'll upgrade by killing some of these animals anyways. So let's see what we're doing in here. Sorry it's so dark, guys. We do not have... We do have a light. I lie. Why would you lie? Let's see where we can put this thing here. Let's put it here. There's no way, is there a way to rotate this? Can't rotate this one, eh? I can't seem to rotate it. Why can't we rotate these things up? Anyways. Should give us some light so you can see how this is actually not even flat. All right, whatever. So be it. Again, this is pretty awful. You have to be patient. All right, let's get these hall blocks here. Let's get this generator out here. And we will actually do the base starter kit here. And we can build 
a couple more of these hall blocks since we have so much. And then we'll worry about the rest of that stuff afterwards. All right, let's get the base starter kit down and where we want it, which is going to be right here in the water. It's the best place, the flattest land. We also have to flatten out all this land here. And for some reason, I'm not in the mood of doing that for starting off. So we let's get ourselves at least safe. And it's always green here. So boom, you go in. Beautiful. All right, we're going to use a jetpack to hop over that afterwards. And let's go number four. And I think that'll get rid of the rock, won't it? Without it trying to do it. I was doing it two seconds ago. I think it does. Let me see if I get a better angle. Maybe it doesn't. Maybe we actually have to get rid of it. Wow, I thought I had it there for a second. Oh, I think I see it. There we go. The rock's inside. <laughs> you can actually trick it. That's good. So it's two on that side. We'll go two back on the other side. Just building a, a temporary one, guys, again. So no stress, no gamble, no hurt, no foul. We're just going to build out this thing here and put that in here. Mostly what we want to do is just get ourselves some kind of place, a footer in the ground. And actually, you know what? I'll do it from here. Make it easier now to do the back end. And again, we'll do another shot. We get experience points for that. That's pretty good. That's really good, actually. Okay, just to protect our front end for now, make this a doorway kind of area, but we're going to protect ourselves from Ella monsters. And how much? Let me kind of 12 left. Let me doors. Okay. Just enough to keep them out. And again, we have to build here. Okay. Okay. Stop that. I don't think we have enough blocks for what I was just did. Nope, we just wasted all the blocks. That's most excellent job. It's okay. So what I'll do, we'll finish up that. We'll just start this up on a machine. Uh, we do want to create some of this. Mini guns are coming. I fucking hope they don't come too soon because it would really suck balls to have them around here. All right, guys, so we're going to do the end of the episode here. So far, it's a good start. If you want to join me with this episode, and see uh, with this actual seed and see how we can all work together and find things. Uh, it's always appreciated, it's always fun, and I always appreciate it. I'll build some of the stuff, uh, at least craft some stuff on the side, which we need, uh, metal piece and all, and I'll try and do some uh, some mining too afterwards with uh, with you, and afterwards we'll do some mining on the side, but we do need to build a couple of things uh, to keep our stuff safe, and uh, we will do it, we'll do it together. So again, thank you so much for being here. This is the Edge for Game Edge. And again, if you want to see more of this, you do need to hit the like button. Before I you know, end the episode, please hit the like button. Every like, guys, gets us seen a little further and brings the community a little tighter. So in other words, I can bring uh, more videos to you guys. So please hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Uh, it's always appreciated. And again, sharing is always very much appreciated too. And all your comments and tips and tricks. Uh, it's it's mucho, mucho, mucho. I appreciate it. So again... Thank you so much for being here. This is the Edge for Game Edge. I'll catch you guys on the flip side.